All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Yeah, you guys, it's funny how everybody suddenly gets a notification for this video. Well, I did a video this morning on Brad Pitt and the allegations against Brad Pitt, and nobody wanted to get the notifications for that video. It's funny, man. It's funny how this thing works, man. You guys get the notifications for this video, but I did a video this morning on allegations against Brad Pitt, and nobody got the notification. It's, it's funny how this thing works. It's hilarious how this thing works. You guys can go check my timeline, too. I did the video this morning, a few like about, about 45 minutes to an hour ago, on Brad Pitt. Nobody got the notification. But you guys going to get the notification for this. As LeBron James' son, Bronny James, has just now declared for the NBA draft. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, he has just now declared for the 2024 NBA draft. Uh, but he also will remain, keep his eligibility in college, and remain in the transfer portal. So, doesn't seem like he's heading back to USC, uh, but he has put his name in the transfer report. I mean, uh, the NBA draft, the 2024 NBA draft. He is officially. And it's funny. I'm going to tell you all this again. It's funny. It's going to be 1,000 people in here in less than 10 to 15, 12 minutes. I did a video this morning talking about the allegations against Brad Pitt. Nobody got the notification. Nobody. That's why I told y'all, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast show, man, where you get all the notifications because that, that is insane that I could do that. And then I come in here, talk about Bronny, and instantly the room is going to be full of people talking about this situation. So now Bronny has officially put his name in the NBA. You understand what I'm saying? Draft. He will officially, and I talked about this on my podcast show yesterday. You guys can go check out the episode on the podcast show. It had to come to this because... In my opinion, and I'm going to give you guys a dumbed-down version, Bronny had to he had to go in the draft this year because they could not take the risk of him going back. Because this year, he has everything in line. They could say, look, man, he went through the hard situation. It set him back. The coach wasn't good. Blah, blah, blah. LK was just a – Bronny can play. We're going to go ahead and move him in, and we know he can play, whatever, whatever, whatever. Versus him – now, leaving USC, ducking the smoke of going back to USC and trying to, because if all those things, uh, the condition and all the things, were the reason why he had a bad season, why not go back to USC, run it back, and then come up? I mean, if you're going to be the man, but that's not the case. It's talking about transfer portal, and you know what happens when you want to go to transfer portal. You're probably going to go to a team where you can shoot all the balls, try to average around 12 to 15 points, and then declare for the draft. It doesn't matter how, what the record is. As long as he's getting all the shots. See what I'm saying? Instead of you going back and saying, you know what? No, this past season was a fluke. I'm going to go back and prove it and come back. And I'll be in the draft next year. Now that's not what this is about. See what I'm saying? So it seems like that LeBron James' son, Bronny James, is going to the NBA as he declared himself for the draft. You said notification didn't come through. I know it didn't come through. I did a video this morning on Brad Pitt. And the allegations from Anna, Angelina Jolie on Brad Pitt, and ain't nobody get the notification. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. But everybody get this notification about Bronny. Everybody. I just did that video an hour ago. Y'all didn't get none of y'all got the notification. Go back and look on my channel timeline. This is why I told y'all this. All my content that I'm doing, a lot of my content is going to my podcast show, man. Because on my podcast show, at least they send everybody the email and they send you a notification whenever I drop content. What's the point of me dropping content if all you guys ain't going to get notifications? Make it make sense. If you subscribe to my channel, you should have to ring a bell to get all the notifications. You should just get all the notifications off, off top. But let's get back to this situation with Bronny James. So, uh, yeah, man, they got to take it now. They, to me, they got to take the risk and take him in the league now. 
You know what I'm saying? A team will still take him now. So why not get him now versus if he go back to school next year, don't play well, then everybody, then that's going to be it. People are going to, they're going to really say, nah, he just wasn't that good. It wasn't about the heart. It wasn't about nothing else. So getting in the draft now is the smartest thing to do, in my opinion. Because if you go back to school and it doesn't go right next year in school, there's nothing that ESPN or the media can do. Because, like, people didn't even want to give Ronnie the benefit of the doubt this year that he went through the hard situation. And he did. You you have to take that into context because you a lot of you guys have never been through nothing like that before. So when you go through something like that, you have that type of setback. You never know how that's going to affect your summer, how that's going to affect your training, how that's going to affect you coming into the year. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that. Now, Bronny has never been in a player who's been overly aggressive on the basketball court. He's never been a guy who's been like a superstar type of player who's just going to go for it. He's never been that. So I don't never see him averaging like 25, 30 points, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't see him being that type of dude because he don't have that type of mentality in the game. He, he, he a dude that let the game come to him. He's a solid basketball player. He plays a team game. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, he's just a solid basketball player. He's not like a dude that's a standout. Like, I'm going to just go out here, get buckets, and just do this, do that. He's not that. Pastor, what's going on, champ? Salute to you, my brother. And so LeBron James Jr., Bronny James, has just now put his hat, his hat in the NBA 2024 NBA draft right now. It's just been announced on the ESPN. And also, along with that, him putting his name in the draft, he is still going to try to maintain his eligibility and stay in the transfer portal. So he really, they're really working to get him to a certain team. And we know what team they're trying to work to get him to. We know what team. It's two teams. One on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. You got the New York Knicks. I got 100, 100 clips. I'm from New York. Or you got the L.A. Lakers. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 formerly known as Staples Center where they had the shack. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, is that the Knicks, they got three picks. The Knicks got two first rounders and their second round pick is all before the Lakers. So the Knicks, if they really want to go get LeBron James, all the Knicks got to do is, is go draft Bronny. The Knicks have two first round picks and they got a second round pick. That's all before the Lakers second round pick next year. The Lakers got one second round pick in the second, uh, uh, in the draft next year. And that's after all three of the Knicks picks. So the Knicks got three picks. If they want to throw one away on Bronny, they got three picks. So you got to look at that with the Knicks versus the Lakers one pick. Now, could the Lakers try to say, hey, look, we want to make a move up or we want a wink, wink situation? Bro, you never know what any of these teams can do. Any of these teams that may be desperate to try to, uh, to get LeBron in the fold. Now that Bronny is in the NBA draft, now this will have, the Lakers do not have a first next year. The Lakers don't, I'm looking at it right now. Let me, matter of fact, let me pull this up again on NBADraft.net. I'm going to pull it up right now because I saw it on NBADraft.net. Lakers don't, Lakers do, the Knicks have two first round picks and a second round pick. I'm going to pull it up right now. I'm going to pull it up right now. So the Lakers do not have, hold on, let me see. Let me make sure this is right. The Lakers do not have a first round pick next year. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, the picks next year in the draft, and I will name these picks to you guys. I have the draft board next year in front of my face right now. Uh, these are the teams that have picks in the first round next year. The Pistons, the Wizards, the Spurs, Charlotte, Portland, San Antonio, Memphis, Houston, Utah, Atlanta, Chicago, OKC, Portland, Philly, Miami, New Orleans, Toronto, Phoenix, Atlanta, Orlando, New York, New York again. New Orleans, Cleveland, OKC, Milwaukee, Minnesota, Toronto, Denver, and then Boston. In the second round, okay, my boy Pastor said they don't control it yet. And then Boston, matter of fact, I'm going to try to send Pastor a link. Hold on, y'all. And then second round, it says Toronto, Minnesota, Phoenix, Portland, Milwaukee, Philly, Memphis, Memphis, New York, Portland, Boston, OKC, Houston, Philly, New York, San Antonio, Clippers, Washington, Sacramento, Orlando, Boston, Philly, Indiana, Indiana, and then the Lakers. 
Indiana, Denver, Memphis, Phoenix, Charlotte. And that's the last pick. Okay, okay, Pastor, I got you. So those are the picks. It's amazing. I did a video. I did a video this morning on Brad Pitt. Bro, ain't nobody getting notification on the allegations against Brad Pitt. That's crazy. They ain't even sell notifications for that video. If I did a P Diddy video, it'd be 1,300 people in the chat room right now. If I did a video on P, the I, the D, the I, the D, the D, the Y, then it's Diddy. Hold up. The chat room be packed. If I do a video on LeBron James, chat room packed. You do a video talking about the allegations against Vince McMahon, the allegations against Brad Pitt. Now, there ain't nobody, they don't even send out notifications. This is crazy. The game is rigged. The game is rigged. It's rigged. But yeah, so um, Bronny has uh, declared for the NBA draft. And listen, I told you guys, he has to do this. In my opinion, LeBron James and them, they got to do this. Because here's the, here's the risk, in my opinion. With everything they had going on this year, listen, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, like I said on my podcast show. The USC coach was garbage. Forget Bronny. We ain't, I'm t- putting Bronny out of that situation. The USC coach was horrible. He's a bad coach. I watched like 12 of their games. He's a horrible coach. He's out of there. Bronny or not, he should have been out of there. Now, let's talk about Bronny. Bronny has the hard situation. He comes in, limited minutes, comes off the bench. That whole season was a scratch from the very beginning for him. You understand what I'm saying? Because once, if you know about basketball, once you your summer's messed up going into that next season, a coach is going to focus his plans around other guys. So even and you're Bronny, you're coming back on limited minutes. He has pressure of putting you out there in certain situations. They have to yank you. You ain't really get a good look. Here's the problem for Bronny. You got people still saying, oh, he can't play. This dude can't. Now, you got the ESPN cast. They're going to say, hey, man, you can play this, that, and the third. But the people who are watching the games who really don't say, oh, he's a bum. He's sorry. He's scrub, right? So now you have so many people with an outcry saying, hey, man, if this dude gets in the NBA, it's a crime that he can get in the NBA, right? Now, think about this. This is the part that y'all not thinking about. And I need everybody to think about this part right here, right? Here's the part where we got to think about this. See, they have to do put Bronny in the league right now. Because now, if you're the NBA, you still want the people to think that your league is credible. There ain't no way they're going to say, hey, man, Bronny's going to get drafted in the first round. Boom, 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 boom. And everything's going to be cool. And then move. No, 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 no. Listen. Because if Bronny goes back to school next year with no hiccups in the offseason and he doesn't play well, it's over. They're not going to be able to push him to the league. They're not going to be able to use an excuse and say, hey, man, he went through this situation, went through that. They have to take this risk right now, and they're going to win it. Bronny is going to be in the league. Trust what I tell you. The Knicks have three draft picks next year. They got two first-rounders in a second round. The Lakers have one pick late in the second round. The Knicks got three picks before the Lakers. Now, pastors say that the Lakers should be getting another first-round pick. I don't know how they're going to do that. He would have to explain, but he can't come on the show right now. He's on the road. So maybe the next time he come on, he'll explain, you know what I'm saying, uh, how that pick makes sense for the Lakers getting in the first round. Because, again, if I'm the Lakers, I ain't wasting no first round pick on Bron. I'm just about to tell you the truth. I'm not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Bron Gray go out the league, all this other stuff. And so, again, the kid is coming to the NBA. Point blank period. There's no, there's no other way. He's not going back to school, y'all. Bronny is not going back to school. And here's why. The risk is too big. If Bronny goes back to school, does not play well, it's over. They Now they cannot sell it to the people. The people will be so against it then if he were to go back to school and not play well. Their best shot is forcing him in now and dealing with the repercussions once he's in the league. Because once he's in the league and playing, ain't nobody going to say nothing. But now all next year, think about this. The pressure builds on Bronny. This offseason, if he goes back to college, they can get him in the league. They can get him in the league. And now this is what you're going to see. Now that Bronny James has actually declared for the draft, it's going to be an arms race. Now you're going to start hearing reports on which teams are going to move for Bronny to try to get LeBron James. Remember, LeBron James said he's almost at his end. And how determined is he to play with his son before he retires? See, this is where all the questions, because see, now here's where the thing comes in, right? 
you have Detroit, you have Washington, you have San Antonio, Charlotte, Portland, Memphis, Houston, Utah, Atlanta, all these teams, Chicago, OKC, Philly. What if Philly picks Bronny in the first round? You think LeBron goes over there on the, on the minimum and plays with Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey and them boys? What if Philly, what if, and this is the type of move that the Philly GM would make. This is the type of move. Philly goes, let's say they lose this year, you know what I'm saying, in the playoffs early. This is the type of move that that crazy GM over at Philly would make. This is the type of move. He would damn right go get Bronny to get Bron for a year in Philly. Bring Bron over there with Embiid, try to lure him over there with Maxie and them boys. This is the type of stuff they would do. This is the type of stuff they would And if you look in the first round, Cleveland, number 24 overall pick, evaluated, uh, or they're projected to be that right now. Are they going after Bronny? Nah, they don't want to go back down that road again. They're not going to want to go down that road again because they're going to feel like LeBron's going to control the franchise again. They're not, he's not going back down that road. So the teams I see, and just this is just me being honest with y'all, teams I see that could potentially take a risk that have first round picks right now, I can see Denver trying to do it if they don't win this year. If Denver does not win this year, I can see them trying to get Bronny uh, and get Bron on a rental for a year or two, team him up with Jokic and them boys and Murray. I can see Minnesota potentially trying to do it trying to see if they can squeeze LeBron James for a year, which I don't think they can do that if they wouldn't got Bronny. Also, the Pelicans, I can see them as a team if they flame out this year that could try to do it. Obviously, I told y'all about New York. New York's got two first-round picks next year, and they got a second round all before the Lakers are projected to get their first pick next year late in the second round. Then you got Atlanta. You know Atlanta would try to do it. They already got a clutch client down there in Trey Young. They'll move off one of those other guys to get LeBron down there. With Bronny. You know what I'm saying? Miami has the first round pick. Does Miami do this? And to the people who said nobody's going to draft them, you don't understand basketball. This ain't about, this is about money, uh, Lebowski. This is what you guys don't understand. This ain't just about Bronny. When you're drafting Bronny, they're trying to go get money for the franchise and LeBron. See, let me tell y'all something. I told y'all this before. The day you draft Bronny, your franchise v rocket value skyrockets skyrockets because of all the you're instantly going to get tv games you're instantly going to get sponsorship money out of the bazoo you're instantly going to have all the news and media talking about this whole summer whether or not you're going to get lebron james this is all about the arms race to see if you can get lebron james to up your franchise value and up your money how much can you entice him to say look we're going to take your son come play with your son his son is in the NBA draft now. So LeBron James, yes, they can try to influence as much as they want, but they can't force the team from not taking his son now if his son name is in the NBA draft. Right? You guys got to think about this. This is all about money now and position. So teams that you can see that would say, hey, man, I would do that ish. Toronto Raptors, they got a first round pick. That crazy GM, he'll do anything in Toronto just to get his hands on Braun to try to get one year or two years of Braun up there by taking his son. Miami, Pat Riley's already told you he got a key under the door for LeBron if he wants to come back. Miami, what if they flame out this year? I can see him doing that. I can see Philly doing that with Daryl Morey crazy self. Daryl Morey's willing to do anything. He's a, Daryl, to me, I'm going to tell y'all something. Outside of the Knicks and the Lakers, Daryl Moore is the biggest wild card out here with Philly. Darryl, I will guarantee y'all, I believe Daryl Moore would burn a first-round pick to go get Bronny if it knows he gets him LeBron James. Trust me, because he knows that would be hard for LeBron James to say no to go play with Tyrese Maxey, jo uh, Joel Embiid, and Bronny in Philly. He knows that because not only do you have a chance to win a championship, but I'm going to bring you here and let you play with your son. That, that's an offer that's hard for a guy to refuse. So you guys got to look at this type of stuff that's going on, man. You got to look at this type of stuff.
Would the Houston Rockets be interested in something like that? No, because Ime Udoka doesn't like LeBron James. So he's not going to go that route. He's definitely not going that route. Would the Spurs do that to try to get LeBron James down there with Wimby and his son? Eh. The Spurs got two first-round picks. First got two, the Spurs got two first-round picks. The Spurs are projected to have two top ten picks in the draft. Does Popovich burn one of those picks on Bronny to try to get Bron down there with Wimbanyama in San Antonio for two years? You guys got to think about this. Look, regard, we got to take our thoughts and our feelings about what we think personally about Bronny as a basketball player out of the equation. We got to do that. We got to take that out of that has to come out of the equation, y'all. Because now when you're looking at this stuff and I'm talking to you guys about, now it's all about money, positioning. And if you're a franchise, right, and your franchise doesn't have many TV games, they don't have much publicity or promotion, they're, or they're tinkering on, we need one guy that can come in here and potentially help get us over the hump. These are all different business decisions. So you getting Bronny is not a basketball decision solely based off him. It is a business decision because you're looking at if I can get his pops, then his pops is obviously going to try to bring somebody else from clutch and we could try to build a situation to where we're in immediate contention again. So I have all five teams that I've seen this, right? That 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 would pro in my opinion be willing to give up a first round pick. Guys have multiple first round picks. The OKC Thunder have multiple first round picks. They can waste a first round pick and go get Bronny. The New York Knicks have multiple first round picks. They can waste a first round pick and go get Bronny. Also, the San Antonio Spurs have multiple first round picks. They can waste a first round pick and go get Bronny. So those are teams right now that can waste a pick just to go get Bronny. You understand? So now I'm going to tell you guys what y'all going to hear in the media and in the news. Now the entire news system is going to be shifted because now what y'all going to do is everybody in the comments says you're going to come back and listen to my stay and say, yo, Ticket, you're a genius for what you're talking about. The conversation now that he's actually put his name in the NBA draft, here's what the conversation is going to be. Now which teams are looking at Bronny? I guarantee y'all, starting on, what's today? Today's fr Thursday, Friday? What's today, Friday? Today, Friday already? So today's Friday, right? Okay, starting on today, this afternoon, in the news cycle, right? Going into, especially starting Monday. Let me say starting Monday. Starting on Monday, you guys are going to start hearing teams that are willing to draft Bronny. To get LeBron. I promise y'all this. You're going to hear teams, and you're going to say, man, what the hell? You're going to hear teams that are willing to draft Bronny this year to get their hands on LeBron James. It's going to become an arms race. Now with Julius Randle being hurt from the Knicks, the Knicks might put all their chips to the middle of the table now and say, bro, there's nothing else we can do right now. We have to go after LeBron James. Julius Randle either ain't playing well in the playoffs, always getting hurt. We have to go do this now. So now you're looking at a situation where I guarantee – Everybody that's listening to this video, under the sound of my voice, this is what's going to happen. I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all. So now it's going to be an arms race. An arms race. Who can get Bronny? And the reason why is because they want the money and they want the promotion. If you're an owner and you own one of these teams and you instantly want your team value, because look, Jordan, look at what he bought the Hornets for. And look at what he sold them for. You want to make money. Some of these teams are losing money. So if I'm an owner and I got a chance to get Bronny, and overnight, if I get Bronny, overnight, my franchise value goes to billions of dollars. I can draft Bronny and sell the franchise and get buku money. Buku money because of the franchise value. And now if I'm letting Brian know, look, if I'm bringing Bronny into a situation where you got a chance to win, then I'm telling Bron, like, if I'm if I'm the 76ers, right, Here, here's, and I'm going to give y'all a couple plays, right? I'm going to give y'all a play with the 76ers, with the Knicks, and with the Lakers. Let's start with the 76ers. If I'm Philly, my play to Bron is this, because you know Philly might flame out this year. 
Let's take Philly Flames out. They're going to say, hey, Brown, we're going to take your son, Brownie. But this is what we want. We want you to come over here for the low. Take the pay cut. Come play with Brownie. We're going to develop and play Brownie, right? But we're going to also give you another chance to win another NBA championship. The Eastern Conference is looking kind of shaky right now. You come over here with Embiid, a young guard like Tyrese Maxey, and we got your son out here as well. You got a chance not only to play with your son, but to win. That's Philly's approach. The Knicks, same way. Braun, we'll draft your son. Your son can come in here. You come over to the Knicks. We rolling right now. We missing a guy like you. You can fit right into what we want to do. And we got we feel like we got a shot to come out the East based off the fact if we can get you in here on the low with your son. Now you got a chance to play with your son in the Big Apple with New York with a whole revamped NBA being placed around and marketing strategy being placed around you and your son. These are the type of conversations that's going to be had. Then let's look at the Lakers, the Los Angeles Lakers. Can the Lakers weasel their way, like elders say, like pastors say, in that first round? Or can they weasel their way up early in the second round and take Bronny? Here's what benefits the Lakers by, right? Once again, the Lakers, more attention, more money, more TV games. And Pastor has told y'all this consistently on this channel. Jeannie Buss has latched herself to LeBron James because of the money he brings to the team, Lebowski. All of the money, all of the, the uh, uh, sponsorships, all of the the uh, the stories that's going to be told as far as the documentaries and stuff like this, all this type of money based off having LeBron James there, content, now with his son, is going to quadruple. You thought that the media was going crazy. Now, if the Lakers were to get Bronny, the media in the, with L.A., they would be unbearable. But this is the type of situation financially that you're looking at. You understand what I'm saying? That you're looking at. So, again, now it goes back to show you guys. The Philly has flirted in the past with trying to get LeBron James. The New York Knicks wanted LeBron James, and now they've repaired their relationship with clutch LeBron James last summer with Rich Paul and them. Remember, they had the meeting. Rich Paul and them boys from the New York Knicks had their meeting, and they mended their fences to do business together going forward because the Knicks are in a better place than they were in 2010 when LeBron was a free agent and the Knicks and LeBron admitted that the Knicks was a team he was looking at. Now you got a situation with the Lakers. This Jeannie Buss, and this is the thing y'all got to ask yourselves, do she really want to lose LeBron James and the money that he's going to market and bring? Does she really want to lose that money to somebody else like the Knicks? Does she really want to lose that? Or is she going to up to Annie and say, you know what, the hell with this, we're going to cash out on LeBron James. This is the situation you're going to see. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm telling you guys this right now. The Cavs are not going back down this road no more. The owner of the Cavs wants his team back. He don't want to deal with LeBron James another 10 years. He don't. He don't want to have that cloud over his head. He's past that. He's off that. He want to go on his own route. That's why you haven't heard the Cavs say nothing about LeBron James. They don't want anything to do with him no more. They're past that time now because Dan Gilbert wants to do his in his own right. And really the, the Cavs are on the right track to rebuilding their team without LeBron James. So they don't need they don't need to bring him back in the fold. They already done a great job rebuilding their team without him. They don't really need him back over there. And I don't see Dan Gilbert going back to that to, to, to that point. And again, everybody that keeps talking about uh his average and stuff like that, bro, this is a Brian James son. It's not about that. If we talking realistic, this is about using your power and using your status to get what you want. And this is what they're going to do. This is the only reason why Bronny declared for the draft. It's because they have power. And I'm telling you guys, start next week, teams are going to start showing their hand. What do I mean when I say showing their hand? And smash the like button as y'all come on in. we got over 1,000 people in the chat. They're, when I say they're going to start showing their hand, come next week, y'all going to see all the teams that was in hiding that all of a sudden want to draft Bronny. They're going to make Bronny out to be – the guy that on next best thing since sliced bread. They're going to talk about everything good he brings to the table. Oh, his passing IQ, his ability to play defense and defend. We can see him as a 3 and D guy in the league. All of these things they are going to put out here for y'all. And then they're going to say, well, this team uh, can use Bronny, and they can help develop him. And this team wants Bronny, and they can help develop him. Now, they're, owners are going to start showing their hands. 
on who because they already know bro it's about the money too a lot of these teams that are going down south about money bro they need to get their finances right and you're automatically getting tv games which brings in a whole lot of money people underestimate the tv game value that you get when you get nationally televised games and all of these other things that come with it so trust me and then if you're a contender you're definitely going to try to go out here and get your hands on Bronny because you want to have LeBron say, you know what, I got a better chance to go over here and win, especially in the East. The way the East is looking right now, I got a chance to go over here and get to, to the NBA Finals. All I got to worry about from what they're saying, from what they are saying, all I got to worry about is Boston. I, if, so if I'm Bron, I can go to the Knicks right now. I can go to the Knicks. And we, we in there like swimwear. The Knicks is right there. They right there. So, again, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that you'll get LeBron James if you get Bronny. And the reason why is because Bron has already said he's highly motivated and he wants to play with his son. And now, especially if you're putting him in a situation where he can win. That's something that LeBron James wants more than anything, too. If you can give him the best of both worlds, where he feel like he can win a championship and play with his son, if he feel like he got a shot, he going to go. LeBron James is trying to do this with legacy now. The, everything that's going on now is for his personal legacy, his personal his personal legacy, his family legacy. You understand what I'm saying? Everything he's doing right now is for his personal and his family legacy. He wants to win another championship. He wants to because he understands that him just playing in the league, stacking up points and stuff, it don't mean nothing to nobody because he ain't winning. So he wants to do that. And I'm telling you guys this right now. You don't have to believe me, but you will see it. Come next week, you will see four or five teams that are going to come out and they're going to say these teams are interested in drafting Bronny because they want to acquire LeBron James. I promise y'all this. I promise y'all this. And this is how teams and th those guys are thinking. See, they think that in the Eastern Conference, the only team is Boston. That's what they think. They don't care about all these other teams. Listen, you can look at the media this morning, how they talking about Boston. Oh, yeah, it's the Boston Celtics and the rest of the East. Uh, it's the Boston Celtics East to lose. It's the whole. That's how they're thinking. So they're not giving other teams any opportunity right now. They talking about how Philly's hurt and they ain't right, how they ain't never been right, how Milwaukee's out here tripping up over bad teams, how God daggone the Knicks are hurt. They can't get themselves together. So again, then you have to look at the connections. You got to go back and look at the connections. LeBron James have deep connections with the New York Knicks organization as far as the guys that's running the team right now you understand what i'm saying you know shout out to worldwide west everywhere he go he leaves a worldwide mess you understand him and the other brother that's over there running the knicks you understand what i'm saying y'all know what it is you guys know what it is right that's brown boy that's oh yeah remember put it together put it together put it together Right? So this is the reason why they're going to tell y'all this. I was watching on ESPN this morning where they said, oh, yeah, it's only the Boston Celtics in the East, and it's their, their conference to lose, so they're pretty much in the finals. That's what they were saying this morning on ESPN. I sat right up there and listened to it. I was like, damn. They said, don't, ain't, don't nobody else got a chance. They, they said the only other team that had a chance, they said, was the Knicks until Julius Randle got hurt. That's what they said. That's what they said. Right? Uh, Mr. Mash, you said World Wide West been a joke. Uh, I doubt that, bro. A lot of cats would not agree with you on that. Everybody who is in basketball, they pretty much know who World Wide West is. World Wide West been around, and all the ballers know who he is. So when you say this stuff like that, he'll look at you and say, who are you? He won't even care that you exist. So uh, you saying that, I'm just being honest with you. Uh, <laughs> people laugh at you for saying stupid stuff, bro. So don't try not to say that type of stuff you're saying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just telling you the truth, bro. He'll They'll laugh at you. You go in any real NBA pro basketball circles, you, you and you can used to go to any top college you program in the country and everybody know who World Wide West is. So let's let's keep it a hundred, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're not finna do that. You know what I'm saying? He everywhere, you never there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just being honest with you, bro. No, no disrespect to you, my brother, but I'm just keeping it real with you. He's not a joke, bro. He's not a joke, bro. Uh you saying he's a joke, they look at you like you're a joke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up, bro. So yeah, um, Anyways, this is what's going on. I'm telling you guys this. This is the reason why y'all seen the reconciliation between the Knicks and between LeBron James' team. Remember, 
LeBron James was working with CAA. He was working with them. The same guys that are running the Knicks right now, Leon Rose, Leon Rose ran CAA, the, the agency. That's what LeBron James came in the league in before he went to clutch. Remember this now. So now they have mended fences. CAA is running the Knicks. They're running the Knicks. So if CAA and Clutch are teamed up, what's to not make you think that they would instantly jump at a shot to get LeBron James on the team if they're cool? And I'm just telling y'all what it is. Uh, you said he's been with the Knicks and they're a joke. They're not a joke. The Knicks are one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. The Knicks are not a joke. The Knicks are one of the biggest threats in the NBA. For you to say that the Knicks are a joke, Mr. Mass, it just shows that you don't know basketball, bro. I'm just being honest with you, bro. It just shows that you, do, you don't know anything about basketball. You don't. For you to say that the Knicks are a joke right now, when you got Leon Rose, World Wild West, Steve Stout and them boys over there doing their thing, you don't know anything about basketball, bro. The Knicks are balling. The Knicks just won another big game last night. They came back down from down 20. The Knicks been balling without Julius Randle, without OG. They've been balling. And realistically, old boy should be an MVP candidate, Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson should be a top five MVP candidate. That's just me being realistic. So you guys can say everything y'all want to say. But I'm going to tell y'all this. Come next week. Come next week, right? Come next week. Next week. You guys are going to start seeing all the teams that are interested in drafting. Y'all are going to say this is unbelievable. I, listen, you guys, Mr. Mass is going to come back in here next week and say, yo, man, this is unbelievable, man. The league is a joke. This is exactly what he's going to say based off the news that they're going to hear starting on Monday. I promise y'all this. Based off the news that they're going to hear on Monday, starting on Monday, you're going to start hearing teams that are interested in acquiring Bronny in the draft so that they can get LeBron James. I promise y'all, it's going to turn into an arms race. We don't have to like LeBron James personally, but he does have a lot of influence and a lot of power in the league. And the fact that he has made it clear that he wants to play with his son and he's willing to do what he has to do to do it. Trust me, this type of stuff will happen, bro. It will happen. I'm telling y'all this. So you guys are going to see. Y'all can get mad all y'all want. Come Monday, y'all are going to see. They're gonna, it's going to be on the news like this. Oh, well, you know, the word is the Knicks are interested in drafting Bronny. Also, the, uh, you know, OKC Thunder would have interest in drafting Bronny. Everybody going to say, what? How all these teams got interest? But it makes sense because it makes money. And if it don't make money, then it don't make sense. This is the part that everybody watching this video truly have to understand if it don't make dollars it don't make sense ladies and gentlemen and i'm telling y'all this and the draft Bronny makes dollars it makes dollars because i'm gonna tell y'all the first thing that's gonna happen if a team drafts Bronny, the rest of the summer is gonna be talked about that team and lebron james it's gonna be talked about that team Who's going to that team? All that. And to the dude who said, I'm capping, Jalen Brunson isn't an MVP candidate. You just don't know anything about basketball, dog. Jalen Brunson is a top five MVP candidate this year for what he's done with the New York Knicks. You just don't watch basketball, dog. I'm sorry. I, I can't argue with dudes who don't, who don't know anything about professional basketball. You have not been watching the games if you don't think Jalen Brunson, a little undersized guard who has been carrying the Knicks, carrying the Knicks through all the injuries, through all the injuries, right? Heart of a lion, nest of an elephant. If you're going to tell me a dude averaging this year, right at 28 points a game, 6.6 assists, shooting 39 from the three, 47 point, almost 48 from the field, 84 from the free throw line, and balling. Are you out of your mind? You, you don't, you, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about, dog. You don't know what you're talking about, dog. That, and that's why I keep trying to tell y'all. Like, guys like these dudes that come on YouTube, they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, first of all, Shea Alexander could be a number one or two MVP candidate, man. When I say top five, let, let me give you top five real quick, Hannibal. And then I'm going to put you in timeout just for not being smart, okay? You're in timeout, all right? So when you talk about top five candidates, that means, sir, you can have Jokic. You can have SGA. You can have, uh, you know what I'm saying? As dang, a New York, New York just got hit with an earthquake, man. Man, I pray everybody's all right, man. 
New York, if you in New York right now, man, I pray y'all all right, man. Y'all just got hit with that earthquake. We just talking about the Knicks. New York just got hit with a 4.8 earthquake on the Richter scale. God, dog. I pray everybody's all right, man. Man, I just seen that news come across my screen. If you in New York, man, my prayers out for you right now, man. If you in New York right now, my prayers are out for you, bro. New Jersey just got hit too. God, dog. Man, they hit them dudes with a four point on a Richter scale. You said you felt in uh, Nick, Nick T. Man, you said you felt it in Philly too. Dog. Dog. Crazy. Crazy. Pray for y'all, man. So, anyways, back to what we were saying, right? I'm just telling y'all what it is, man. Everybody that's listening to this video, man. Um, bro, the Knicks, man. Bro, y'all keep sleeping, bro. These teams are going. So, oh, yeah, I was talking about the top five MVP. That boy don't know what he's talking about. So, you got Shea in the top five. You also got, uh, 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 you got Jokic in the top five. You got Jalen Brunson in the top five. You probably going to have to put uh, Jason Tatum near that top five. And then you probably going to have to put a guy like Ant-Man in that top five. So how is Jalen Brunson not in the top five? How? How is he not in the top five? You guys got to understand basketball, man. A lot of y'all really don't understand basketball, bro. And that's the problem I have with a lot of y'all. You saying that Jalen Brunson who's doing everything he's doing, balling out of control. He is a top five MVP candidate this year, bro. Sorry. So, yeah, man, um, y'all going to see a lot of teams coming up um, that are now in the Bronny sweepstakes. This is what's going to happen. I, I promise y'all this. On Monday, it's going to be three or four teams already, they're saying, are preparing to draft Bronny in an attempt to get LeBron James services from the Lakers. Right? And so it's now it's on. Now, Bronny has still kept his eligibility for college, but he's gone, man. He's not going back to college, bro. I don't see him going back to college and taking that risk, bro. Because if he goes back to college and he doesn't play well, it's over with. They're going What they're going to do is they're going to just, you know what I'm saying, say, hey, man, he's just not NBA material. You know? They, they can use it right now that he went through all that stuff and the season didn't go right. You know what I mean? But I'm just telling y'all what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Telling y'all what's going on, man, and being honest with y'all, man. You know? But I'm going to say something else to y'all real quick. It's hilarious to me, bro, that they did not put that. Bro, YouTube, bro, they did not give y'all the, the, the Brad Pitt video I did this morning on the allegations against Brad Pitt. That's crazy. That's why we going to the podcast, bro. I swear, bro, that's why if y'all on my podcast, y'all see all the videos we put out today on the podcast we were putting out videos on the podcast man that y'all not gonna see nowhere else man i'm just doing content over there bro and as this news came up i was working on a video right there on the podcast on vince mcmahon and so now this news came out so i had to come over here and get y'all this real quick you know what i mean um get y'all this information but y'all definitely let me know what y'all feeling on this man you know what i'm saying uh lebron james he may be headed out of la i know he's gonna opt out but now that his son is declared for the draft, woo, we finna see who we finna see who want LeBron James for real. We finna see who want LeBron James for real. I'm telling y'all this right now. We finna see who want LeBron James for real. Cause they definitely gonna go after Bronny. And now the arm race begins, ladies and gentlemen. The arm race begins. And listen, Bronny can't fail from now on. Because once he gets into the NBA, the goal is accomplished for him. For his father. They they got they're trying to get him in the NBA. That's what they're trying to do. For all you boxing fans that love Ticket TV, we are back with a brand new boxing podcast, full podcast show. Link will be in the chat, pinned at the top. So yeah, um, I'm just telling y'all what's going on. Telling y'all what's going on, man. But y'all know what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? And again, man, um, you know, we got more episodes dropping on the podcast show today. Make sure if you guys are not subscribed to the podcast show, make sure y'all do so. The link will be pinned at the top of the comment section. And y'all check my video timeline. I did another video this morning that y'all didn't even get the notification for. That's crazy. You ain't even saw a notification. That's insane. 
But it is what it is. We know how I get down on YouTube. So y'all make sure that y'all subscribe to my podcast show. I'm going back to my podcast show right now. I was on my podcast show. I came over here to get y'all this news. And now I'm going back to the podcast show. So salute to everybody. Patreon.com backslash Ticket TV is the podcast show. Make sure y'all go over there. I'm going over there right now. You can find the link pinned at the top of the comment section. And come subscribe to the podcast show right now. Salute to everybody that's on the podcast. We almost had 3,000 subscribers. Salute to all of y'all that's riding with your boy. Holla. Hey, man, I holla back.